defective or poorly groove wear is one of the most common causes of premature belt failure and can even lead to lost drive efficiency. Browning recommends pulleys showing a 32nd of an inch of wear or more be replaced. To measure groove wear, we recommend using a Browning groove gauge, although a simple straight edge will do the trick. To begin, simply identify what belt section the shiv is designed for. This can typically be done by examining the shiv part number. For example, a shiv with the part number AK49 is rated for an A belt, so you would use the first silhouette on the groove gauge engraved with the letter A. The A silhouette is followed by the B silhouette, and then the AB silhouette. The AB silhouette is for combination groove shivs, such as a BK67 or a larger 4B184R. As you continue through the groove gauge, you will notice many other silhouettes for other sizes. This includes the 3V and 5V, as well as the larger 8V, C, D, and E section shifts. Once you've determined the corresponding silhouette, you'll have to determine which tab on the silhouette to use. This is done by measuring the outside diameter of the shiv and selecting the corresponding tab. For example, an AK-49 has an outside diameter of four and three quarter inches. So on the groove gauge, we would select the tab on the right hand side because it's labeled for use with shivs that are 5.4 inches ND or nominal diameter and smaller. The last two silhouettes on the groove gauge are belt forks. Belt forks are used to determine the belt cross section when you don't know the part number. Simply drop the belt down in the groove of the belt fork and the belt cord line should line up with the corresponding belt cross section. Oftentimes variable pitch shivs are used and because the groove in a variable pitch shiv is always changing, it would be almost impossible to design a silhouette for the groove gauge to match each setting on the variable pitch shivs. In this case, we recommend just using a standard straight edge to measure grooves for wear. Simply place the straight edge in the groove of the variable pitch shiv, checking each side individually. The straight edge also works great for checking worn, dirty, or old shivs with unidentifiable part numbers. One great tip is that the side of the belt fork silhouette makes a great straight edge for checking variable pitch shivs or unidentifiable fixed pitch shivs. The 30 second of an inch of wear means it's time to replace that shiv. And don't forget to take pictures for future reference.